Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're doing a get ready with me and it's been such a while we've done, done like a little makeup video on my channel. I've just been doing more lifestyle kind of stuff and I do really enjoy it but I don't want to like go too far away from my makeup stuff. But please make sure to follow me on Instagram where I do post a lot of like mini makeup tutorials. I've got fluff on my mouth. Check me out on there because that's where you can find me when I'm not on YouTube. And yeah, I post little cute pictures, you know, it's just a bit of everything on there. So I got this new dress from Pretty Little Thing, which I've actually had my eye on for a while. It's a hate, it's like a love-hate relationship. I feel like you either love this or hate this. But I think I really like this dress. So it's just from, it's from Pretty Little Thing. And I'll show you guys later when I'm like all done up. But I don't know, like... The sequin and the sparkles, everything. I love like the one arm thing. Um, the the ruched sequin sleeve does make your arm look a little bit thick, but you know it's a cute dress. So yeah, I'm gonna do. I don't know why with this dress I see where I I wanna wear like a bronzy eye look. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be using some of the new shades from the Huda Beauty Matte and Metals Liquid Eyeshadows. Um, I've got a new cool makeup revolution lipstick. So first up, I'm gonna use the Lime Crime Bushy Brow Precision Precision Pen in Smoky. And I haven't used this in a while because I thought I lost it, but then I found it. And I don't know. I love. Um, these kind of products because they just imitate real brow hairs can you guys also let me know if you like this lighting i've changed it up a bit i've gotten some i used to use umbrella lights like just one umbrella light and now i've gotten an LED, led light and it's a bit warmer and i feel like with this light it doesn't wash me out and when i use like sparkles and you know it just makes the makeup look more real and true to color rather than just a white light flashing on me I literally can't see anything with my eyes. I'm not mad at that at all. Then to set my brows in place, I'm going to go in with my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Keep this out of the way. So you guys watching Love Island because I've been obsessed. I, I said, oh, I'm not going to watch the winter one. I'm not going to watch the winter one, but you just can't stay away from it, I swear. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below like, who's your favourite. I think so far I really like, I kind of like Rebecca. Like she's just such a beauty. But then I also, I also really like Shauna, but... She's like so sweet because when Rebecca came in, she was just so nice and like she was just complimenting her. But then it kind of got a bit nasty. I just don't get fighting over a man. Like I just don't get it. And I know it's that's the game, but still like, I just feel like you just got to support other women, you know? Um, and Shauna was like so nice when she walked in, but as soon as she started, like as soon as Rebecca started talking to her man, which I think is Callum, she was, Shauna was not having it. So I don't know. I like her, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, I like Rebecca. I actually kind of like Paige. She's actually really funny. I got this really cute lip gloss thing. It's like banana. No, it's vanilla actually. <laughs> It's a vanilla kind of lip gloss. I just bought it from Beauty Bay, but I thought it was so cool, you know, especially for Instagram. I feel like when you have cool little things for Instagram thumbnails, it's like, I just think people like are instantly drawn to it and that's what makes them click on a video. I'm always like looking for like cool little stuff for my Instagram videos. And this is like really hydrating. The only thing is it gives a little bit of a white cast, but I don't, ever wear this out like this i have been just using it as a prep when i do my makeup to me it's just like a lip mask but yeah this will come off later on next up i'm going to be using some of the revolution conceal and correct in orange just a little bit around the mouth area my pigmentation just wants to come and go whenever it wants to but i just try to stay as consistent as possible with my skincare and I think that really does help. And I'm constantly changing up my skincare. Like, that's why it's hard like, to do a routine. But I think I'm going to do one real, real soon. I'm going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation today. I 
I'm just gonna spritz some of this Glam Glow Glow Setter. I'm just gonna go in with a foundation brush and buff this in. Since I fake tan, this shade actually goes really well on me now. This is in the shade Tahoe, although my fake tan is slightly fading. And I really do like the Molly May tan, fake tan, but I might try some other ones because I asked you guys on Instagram and a lot of you wanted me to try some different fake tans, especially Bondi Sands. Although it's like £18, I didn't know like fake tan was so like high end. I've been loving to go in with my cream contour first and then concealer. It just makes such a difference. I don't know why. So I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. What is this? It's a concealer in deep neutral. It's like the perfect shade. I then like to use a stippling brush and just blend it out. Oh, I love how bronzy that looks already. I'm really tempted to put a bit more on my cheeks. Not on that side, it's just this side that needs a bit more. Now we can go in with a bit of concealer. I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Biscuit. So I like to apply it on my under eyes, of course, my forehead. This is like extreme like cream contouring and highlighting but i've just been so into it lately so this concealer does dry a little bit quick so i like to make sure i'm blending it real quick this is your chance to like kind of clean up the bronzer as well Look at that base. I'm just gonna set that. Oh yeah, and by the way guys, I definitely recommend the show Cheer because I literally watched it in like two days. I got my sister on it, she watched it in like a day. It's just so good, cool, like I thought I wouldn't like it. It's basically about a cheerleading team in America and like they do championships. It kind of goes a little bit into the lives of the, the, the cheerleaders and like what they, they've been through and some of them don't really have much and they, that team is like everything to them. I don't know, I was bawling, like I love the show so much. What am I gonna do next? Um, I think I need some blush. Oh, for blush, I wanted to put lipstick. I don't know, I've been trying this and I like the creaminess of it. I'm gonna be using the matte lipstick by Huda Beauty in Rendezvous. Rendezvous? 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 I don't know. <laughs> I can't, like I said, I can't say French words in an English accent. I have to like say it in a French accent because I just feel so weird. Go in with a little bit of a wet brush and just blend that. I just feel like blush makes such a difference. I'm gonna go a little bit with some bronzer, obviously on the chest area. I go all out on the chest. Just go all out. Next up I'm going to take the NARS Endless Orgasm Palette and just use this as a highlight, just a little bit. A bit more on the sparkly side but you know, this is a sultry date night, get ready with me. I think I need a little bit more on this side. Now onto the eyes, I'm going to be using the Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer by NYX in the shade Beige. This is just going to be our quick eye base. I really like it because it's quite light. 
By the way guys, I want to know what time you go to bed and like what time do you wake up in, a, in the morning to go to work because I'm really struggling with sleep and I just physically can't, I don't like sleeping early, I just feel like I can do so much in that time and but then the next day I'm kind of tired, I, I'm trying to do like 11 to 6.30, that's my time. But let me know what your sleeping schedule is and do you function properly the next day if you like sleep really late and have to wake up really early. So now we're going to move on to the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. And I'm going to use the shade Cashmere Robe first. It's like a beigey tone. Yeah, the shade, you can't really... It doesn't show up on me. With these shadows, some of the mattes don't really show up on me. But... Um, I love 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 the shimmers like they're one of my favorite shadows like I love these and I'm really obsessed with Huda Beauty products but it's a shame because sometimes I'll love like a shimmer but the matte doesn't suit I think that's what's hard about these um obviously I have all of the shades but let's say if I was like purchasing them which I would because I was buying all of Huda, product, Huda Beauty products before um I would only get get the really sh like the shimmer ones that I really liked or ones that I could wear on both sides. The lightest colours you could just use as a base or like an all over shadow, it's not necessarily a crease colour. So I'm gonna try Cinnamon Toast now in, in the crease to see if that shows up a bit better, yeah. I'm gonna use some of that shade on my lower lashes. Next I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, it's one of my favourites ever. Um, I even got one from my sister. So I'm going to go in with the shade Amber first, just to kind of set this shade in place. Make sure you get that dark shade in the inner corner as well. Right, so next up I'm going to go in with Oud. And we're just going to press that on each inner corner. Wow, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'm just going to grab a really thin shape uh, brush and just really wet that darker brown closer to my lash line okay now for the exciting part we're gonna grab the shade penthouse sweet and we're gonna put this in the center so just try to pat it don't try to swipe it because you don't you want it to stay in the center and you don't want to ruin or take away from the like the blending that you've just done so i'm just gonna pat this for now I kind of do like a triangle in the center and I bring like the highest bit to like where my crease is just like soften and tap the edges so it's not like a harsh line and then you can always go back with the brown shadow kind of blend it a little bit more that like is just stunning so then I concentrate right in the center and before you go in with the second layer just wait for the first layer to dry I think I'm going to put a little bit here. I'm just in love with this look. It feels good to just do looks like these. I've just been doing such simple looks lately. I've just forgotten how to just do my more creative looks. And this is just so, just so fun. Oh my God, I just love the outcome afterwards. My back is so painful. I don't know what on earth's wrong with me. I think my posture is awful. Okay, just make sure you like scrub, not scrub, but like soften the edges because you don't want like just a line unless that's what you're going for, but I want it more like soft. Now we have to curl these lashes. Um, for mascara, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. I've just been loving this. 
I'm not going to put too much mascara, but that's just one layer and I'm really happy with it. And I would go with like a second layer and it just makes my lashes look so, so nice. I love this mascara. Um, but yeah, we're going to put some lashes. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Lottie lashes. They're one of my favourite at the moment. I love Huda Beauty lashes. <sighs> I should be on a Huda Beauty campaign at this point because I just love her products so much. And like these lipsticks, I always have like two in my bag somewhere because i just love the formula and the way they make my lips look and they're really long wearing and the shades are just so nice i'm just waiting for my lashes to dry right lashes are on i might put a little bit more mascara i'm gonna finish off with a bit of nefertiti i don't know how to say that word I'm gonna pop that in your inner corner. My lips are so soft now from that gloss. I don't know, it's something about it is so hydrating. But we're gonna use some of this Le Revolution Pro lipstick in Razzle. I don't know, this lipstick's so cool. It's literally got like glitter all over it. Um, but let's try this. I think I will like the shade as well. No, actually, this is actually really pretty. It's like a really high sheen gloss kind of lipstick. Some highlight on the shoulder. All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. I'm going to show you guys the outfit in a bit, but this is my skin. Let's bring you in closer. Alright guys, this is the final outfit. I don't have a mirror so I can't really see myself but I love the dress. I have all these nude heels. Obviously I always, if I'm ever going out with heels I've learned like the hard way to always have like little foldable shoes just in case because I cannot walk in heels to save my life. I don't know, like I try to avoid them at all costs, but they just make your legs look so nice. Um, Luna to Luna's toys were over there, so ignore that. But this is just a quick um, fake tan update. I think it's faded uh, quite, I think the fake, the fake tan has faded quite a bit. I really want to do it again, but again, I don't see myself doing it unless it's more summertime or I, if I go on holiday because I just like going through that smell, which it's just me personally i can't stand it it's like it needs to be worth it so i don't know but i just love it so much i really want to do it again um but yeah the dresses like i said the dress is from pretty little thing shoes heels are from misguided and that's all i got on me to be honest oh and i thought i thought to use some of this spray it's like a glowy thing for the legs but for the body You see a difference? It's just like oil basically. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you want more videos like these where I show like an outfit with the get ready with me. I'll make sure to do some more. I love this. I love this outfit. Alright, I'm gonna head off. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!